What's up, YouTube? JJ Ramos here, Mr. Money in Life, Never Marketing Advocate and Adventure. Slash Adventure. I always forget the slash, all right? Please forgive me for forgetting the slash thing, okay? It should be there. It should be there. Okay, welcome to Random Thoughts, Episode 4. <clears throat> Random, well, if you're not, now if anybody, if anybody here is not familiar with my show, Random Thoughts, this is where I report all the best posts and shares that I have done this past week. Okay, and whatnot. Alright? Now, for the, for this episode, the whatnot is this. I am supposed to <clears throat> I am supposed to go live on both here on YouTube and on Facebook. But due to severe connection issues, <laughs> I wasn't able to pull it off. Alright? Now this is one benefit. This is one benefit of having uh, having multiple devices, multiple mobile device devices. I got two tablets, and I rarely, uh, I rarely keep them on at the same time, right? But for the concept of going live on both YouTube and Facebook, it's just too irresistible. All right, I just had to try it. I just had to try it a few uh, several minutes ago, but due to well, again, due to slow connection. Due to, slow connect, due to slow internet connection, I wasn't able to pull it off, right? I've already posted a, uh, a photo apology on Facebook a moment ago, uh, and, right, and, I'm, and I'm right here, right now, recording a video instead on YouTube, uh, recording episode 4 instead. So that's the whatnot, that's the biggest whatnot of this episode, okay? Probably, probably for the entire show, okay? So before we get on uh, with the business at hand, I'd like to remind everybody to please, okay, to pretty really please, to really please uh, hit subscribe and the bell. Uh, so how do you wear that? Okay, uh, if you're on the desktop, it's it's beside, it's right here. If you're on uh, if you're on a, if you're if you're on a smartphone or a tablet it's down there okay hit subscribe and the bell for for future videos of mine or any any um, any goings any goings on from my end so that you can uh, so that you be stay alert about it and you're free to, and of course you're free to comment on not just this video but in all my videos okay and don't forget to like them okay don't forget to like now, let's get down to business. First, first share I'm going to uh, report. First share I'm going to report to you is this. I encountered one of uh, one of the videos of Instagram influencer and coach Thor Arsand. I've been uh, I've been viewing videos from this guy as of late because his specialty is Instagram. Okay, now. Uh, I think some of you may know that um, most of my uh, most of my branding and marketing efforts are anchored now on Instagram, right? So I have to watch I have to watch this particular video. It's about how to increase re-engagement on Instagram for 2019. <clears throat> I found value in this video, and basically I like Thor Arsan's approach. He's more he's more inclined to the organic style of uh, Instagramming, so to speak. So uh, he's also based on uh, the, his organic approach is also based on the principles of Gary Vaynerchuk, which is, Gary Vaynerchuk is the maestro of organic uh, of uh, organic engagement, actually, especially when it comes to both, especially when it comes to Instagram. So if you're uh, if you're doing your marketing efforts or if you love Instagram so much, if you're an influencer, if you're an Instagram influencer, if you're if you're a marketer whose efforts are based on Instagram, you gotta watch this video. So all the top all the posts and shares that I'm going to mention in this episode, the links are in the description. Okay, so you better. So you better uh, watch out for the link of that of that particular post of that particular share of mine. 
and okay this cult uh let's call this was came quite to came quite a surprise for me because probably a few hours after i posted it on instagram then it got shared on pinterest on pinterest uh i I saw that it already had you know it already has five thousand views, all right. Two hours after posting, it got five thousand views. Now, the the graphics I did for this uh, for this particular post is not that fancy because I actually uh, posted this on Instagram in a rush. Okay, I was I, I was probably at a mall. Yeah, I was probably at a mall, and I couldn't uh, I couldn't uh, what you call this. I couldn't post I couldn't post on Instagram that easily so I had to do something so I posted this code with just a plain plain color background posted on Instagram then through through the good graces of IFTTT okay if this then that it is it got instantly posted on Pinterest where it got 5,000 views in just two hours all right so well basically Less is more, all right? This is a perfect example of less is more. So what does Charles Wind what does American pastor Charles Swindoll say in that quote? Here it is. I am convinced that life is 10% what happens to me and 90% of how I react to it. All right? He is perfectly correct on that. Now, by the way, those of you who are not familiar with Charles Swindoll as I am when I saw this quote, he's an American pastor. Right, much like um, much like an older Joel Austin. Right, the only pastor motivational speaker I know is Joel Austin, actually, and Ogmandino, only two of them. So he's basically he's right on this. Now, life. Now there are there are most people that say life happens to me. Oh, the world is the world is so unfair. You shouldn't. Basically, you, okay, you, you shouldn't think that way because life as it happens to you is just 10% of the equation. Okay? You got the other 90% to worry about. Okay? You shouldn't react negatively to the world, to, to life itself uh, all the time. Right? So, what he says here 90% of how we react to it, you should always react to it in a positive way. Look at the bright side. Okay. Always look on the bright side. This is what uh, this is what this quote essentially says. Okay. Now, the link to the the link to the actual pin, again in the description. You look for that. Okay. Then, okay, the latest blog post. My latest blog post says uh, it it talks about my well my ten point my ten point goal setting method. Okay, I do a goal setting session once, uh, once a year, a few days after New Year's Day. Of course, I review the past year's goals. It's actually that's why it's called a ten point goal setting method because it's ten goals actually. I don't just, uh, I don't just uh, set one goal for the year. No, there according to my mentor, okay, the the guy the guy who taught me these ten areas of life, Pido Aguilar. He says that a person has 10 areas of his life. Okay? There are 10 areas in a person's life. So I based my goal setting method on that uh, on that principle. And I really want I really want to thank you sir Pito. Talagang the best the best ka. I learned a lot from the guy when it comes to uh, stress management, uh, time management, of course goal setting, okay? I formulated this goal setting method based on his based on that principle of his okay oh the book where i got it from is entitled the, the gift of abundance so again sir Pido, thank you you're the man <laughs> you're the man sir you're the man Paul. so basically my blog post uh will uh, will show you how i do it uh will show you the 10 areas of one's life you base your goals on you base just one goal on that and give it a time and give it a time frame for, for in my case I was in my case a full year 
Okay, one full year. So head on over to the link to that blog post again in the description, and read and uh, uh, read it with your heart instead of your eyes, instead of just your eyes and your brain. Read it with your heart so that you can fully uh, understand. So you can fully understand the, that goal setting method of mine. And what's next? Oh, okay. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> this particular video, I wasn't, I didn't actually share this on on any of my social media platforms. I actually shared this only through Twitter, because uh, through by the good graces again of IFTTT, I have three T. I I like to call it because IFT, it has a. Uh, if you're a Filipino, it would it would sound uh, it would sound sexually offensive sometimes. So, I dubbed it I, I F three T. Through through that through that app, uh, when you like a video on YouTube, it automatically tweets it. It automatically sends it to Twitter as a tweet. So if you have a considerably large Twitter audience, they would know that you saw that video. Okay. That was the only time I shared this video. That was the only platform that I shared this video on. Now it's a it's a video by Dan Lok, okay, and he talks about <clears throat> he talks about how digital mark digital digital marketing beats traditional marketing, okay. If you're uh, if you're a student marketer, a network marketer, an influencer, okay, you should watch this video. Because he, he clearly explains how digital marketing has actually, in his words, in his own words, destroyed traditional marketing. So again, link to that in the description. Okay, I want to look at the description once I uh, once I share something with you. Okay, <clears throat> what else? Okay, well, nothing much has happened. Nothing much has happened except for the <laughs> the slow connection issue I had uh, a few moments ago. As of uh, the as of the recording of this video, uh, nothing much has happened except for, of course, the Charles Swindle quote, which was the most. It had the amongst all the um, amongst all the posts and shares that I have shared in this episode so far, that had the most engagements. Okay, that had the most engagements. That uh, that quote by Charles Swindle that I shared on Pinterest. Now. What I'm planning for for this week is to call this. Uh, well, I just had a flash. The I just I just uh, announced a flash sale yesterday. Okay, I just had I announced a flash sale yesterday for my Himalayan salt lamp, and um, it ended it ended uh, this afternoon, six thirty p.m. Uh, but it go, uh, when it, when it, when you say flash sale. It doesn't it's not going to last long okay <clears throat> ideally a flash sale shouldn't last more than 12 hours okay it shouldn't last more than 12 hours it shouldn't even last more than three hours actually I uh, I was very lenient I was very lenient uh, last yesterday so yeah it, it had responses but uh, I've yet to I've yet to see them show me the money all right of course uh, I can't solve I can't solve any problem if no sale is made. Until a sale is made, no problem can be solved. Okay, that's one. That's one of the things I learned when I was uh, when I was uh, when I when I was an active salesman when I in my younger days. Now, what are my plans for uh, this week? Hmm. Um. Well, February one is this Friday, so that's a new month, and. I'm slowly considering Pinterest marketing. Um, well, if you think Pinterest is a good platform to to build your brand or brand product service or business, okay, leave a comment below, please. Okay, I need your I need your advice and suggestions on uh, how to market on Pinterest. Okay. So what else? Uh huh. So what are my what else are my plans? Uh huh. I'm going to uh, call this. I'm going to address that connection problem because I really wanted to. I really wanted to do a live again on both YouTube 
and Facebook. I've have I haven't done a Facebook live probably three months, three months. So uh, I'm long overdue for one. And I really plan to do an episode of Random Thoughts on both platforms at the same time, simultaneous, simultaneously. So the only issue right there is the is the internet connection. But uh, of course, uh, expect more time freedom posts from me, which I may do live, which I may do live on either Facebook or YouTube, as long as uh, as long as the hashtag time freedom by JG is there. All right, remember the hashtag. So that's it. Uh, that's we can now conclude another episode of Random Thoughts, although it's super delayed. <laughs> Super delayed because of the the connection issues I had a few moments of so several minutes ago. So please forgive me for that, guys. Please forgive me for that. So that's it. Uh, until next episode. Bye.